Hi, I'm Casey. And I'm Judd. We're with Adrenaline Industries. And today we wanted to show off what we believe is the ultimate pickup truck. If you're familiar with our company, then you're used to our Overland Series builds that we do on Ford and Ram 5500s. So a lot of the same features that we put into those Overland Series trucks is also on this pickup truck. So we're using a buck stop, full aluminum bumper. Um, it's all got a special coating on it. This thing's not gonna rust, you don't have any issues with it. We also chose rigid lights, uh, a worn 16 and a half thousand pound winch with synthetic rope on it. So that keeps for a big bumper, it keeps it pretty light. We also got buck stop fenders, we got buck stop wheels. We chose the 41 inch Goodyear tires on this build. And then we have our own custom badging uh, that we put on our trucks. This is pretty cool because it's backlit. Uh, so when your lights are on, that lights up at night. Liquid springs, I mean, it's the greatest suspension you can put on these big trucks. It makes them run like a half ton. Uh, it's incredible. Here we've got Amp XL steps. That's gonna give you, you know, more drop than a standard step to help you get into the trucks uh, since they are high off the ground. And my favorite part of the new truck is this bed that Casey and I designed together. It turned out awesome. I'm gonna let Casey talk about all the details on it though. So we, why we built this bed is we, we feel like we needed more out of, more than regular pickup bed, more than just a flat bed, more than uh, what was currently in the market. A lot of the beds that are out there are made of steel. Um, they're heavy, they're eight feet wide, they're, you know, they, they check a few bo boxes that exist for the, the current market, farmers and, and construction workers, um, which this can still be used for, but we feel that this is a little more uh, dialed, a little more uh, refined for those that are wanting to use it for more off-road and more um, overland type type uses. So our bed is mostly aluminum. There's a little bit of steel in the subframe and it's very configurable. So from here up, everything's removable and can be a, can be a bare flat bed for a camper, utility bed. Um, if you still need to haul hay with it, you can still haul hay with this. That kind of covers why we built it. Uh, let's look into some of the details and some of the, some of the things that make this really unique. So um, starting in the bottom, we have two boxes, a large one in front of the wheel, a little bit smaller one in the back. And if you look, this is all contoured to fit the cab. We start with a dually truck, which is a wider wheelbase. And most dually flatbeds have this big flat dead space that's just a bug catcher and rock catcher. So we spent a lot of time to try to make this look unique, make it make it a little more sleek and less of a bug and rock magnet. So if you look at our you know contoured faces, we have these also covered in paint protection film. Okay, we use quick, easy, single press latches, soft open hinges um, that make it so the door opens nice and, and slow and won't ever go past that point. It makes it nice and solid too, so you can use this as a workspace too. So nice big open canvas there that you can use for whatever you want for, for utility. Uh, upper boxes have the same latches, nice soft, open, op slow open. Um, both of them on top, uh, ni nice big fully open passageway across the top here and then a divider so you can have, you know, some so your stuff doesn't slide all the way front to back when it's used in the in the upper area. And we got one more back here, nice angled box. Uh, we angled this back box up so it doesn't affect our departure angle. Also gives it a nice cool over off-road look. Um, all the boxes have lights inside them that open with a switch on the door. So as, as soon as you open the door, you have light. They're hooked to the park lights in the truck so that <clears throat> when your lights are on at night, you'll have lights inside the boxes as well. So the, the boxes below the bed are permanently mounted. Um, they can be configured differently, but they're permanently mounted to the bed. The boxes on top of the bed are mounted to four easily removed bolts. They're, they're just mounted into the L-track that's welded into the top structure of the bed. So within a few minutes, you could have this, this whole box off, the other side's box removed, and then the tailgate will remove as well. Um, because this truck's a 5,500, it's capable of towing a 30,000 pound plus trailer. Um, most trailers can't be pulled from the tongue that heavy, so, so a gooseneck hitch is required for pulling a, a trailer that heavy. Uh, we have a steel subframe that is mounted to this bed that mounts to the, that's bolted to the truck frame where your gooseneck is attached to and also where the bumper pull hitch is attached. Most trucks that have a fifth wheel hitch in the bed like this, they're a big eight foot wide, nine foot long, square, uh, boxy bed that's designed to pull trailers and, and put hay on. We feel that this, this can do that, but it's, it's, it can do more um, because of how we've built it and configured it. And it also has a better look to it. It's not full eight feet wide. We stand a little narrower than eight feet with a super single conversion and it fits, um, fits really well. 
The last cool part of our boxes, we use a trim lock uh, weather stripping seal around all the doors and then we double it up where it needs to. So we put a double seal on the top edges and, on, and along a lot of the front edges to keep most of the moisture out. I feel like Casey and I work really well together. I come up with these crazy ideas and it's, and to me it's got to look really good uh, as well as, you know, be functional. And so with Casey's help, he makes sure that it does that, it operates well. And then I come up, I wanted to make sure that the angles look good, that things were recessed and that it was something that I really look forward to using. Some of those things are we want to make sure we utilize every square inch. So you've seen the side boxes. Here we've got a rear box where it's just some dead space. And so now you have some additional storage here that's uh, water resistant. The whole tailgate here removes uh, with just pulling two simple pins if you do are converting it to a flatbed. And inside the bed, we wanted to be able to keep over four feet of space in between here because most of your pickup beds are four feet or a little more on, on a full-size truck. You still have plenty of this L track that's called airline track as well. So you have plenty of tie downs. We added it up here too. Um, we like riding dirt bikes and stuff. And there's times where you're putting in a couple dirt bikes here. You can actually put three dirt bikes in here and be able to strap from the handlebars down into this airline track. But something unique that we did is that we left some space here. So if you wanted to use a soft roll up cover that are common on a lot of pickup trucks in the aftermarket space, you can add that to this. There's a lot of times I'm not towing anything. I just want a really cool pickup truck. We're doing a road trip and uh, family's coming with me. We're putting our suitcases or duffel bags in here and you don't know what the weather's gonna be like. If you, I mean, not that you couldn't fit it all in all the extra storage you had, but say you had all your off-road gear and everything was filled up and you needed more space and you wanted it weather resistant, then you could do one, install one of those soft covers and that's why we purposely left that additional space. Also in the bed, we laser cut a plate with our logo in it uh, that covers the gooseneck hitch. And these higher trim model uh, builds that we do, you're able to still utilize factory park sensors, reverse camera, and so those are all also installed on this bed. On this truck, we spec dual tanks, one behind the axle, one in front. So we actually have dual fuel fillers on this side. We realized that Fords and Rams are different. Uh, Ford, I believe, has their def tank on the other side. So this is a kind of a universal knockout. You'll see them on the other side, just, just blank with their logo. You can knock out and put the fuel filler on that side if you need to. Just in front of this box, we have a, another storage area that we feel is very universal. Um, this could be configured however, however somebody wants. You could put slides in here, drawers, fridges, uh, fuel fuel cell if you want to carry extra fuel. On the other side, there's a full-size spare. Some people may want to carry two full-size spares. You could definitely have two spares. You could have two storage boxes and no spare. Uh, it's very, very universal with how we can use this. Part of the reason we chose a 5500 Ram and Ford is their, their cargo capacity and GVW. This truck has a GVW of 19.5. That leaves around just over 9,000 pounds of cargo capacity we can fit in the back of this truck. Um, that le leaves it wide open for all sorts of possibilities. We can do uh, flatbed campers, slide-in campers, rooftop tents, full of gear. We're thinking chase trucks for Baja, you know, uh, rodeo guys and all the rodeo trailers they're pulling. They're, the possibilities are pretty endless with this chassis and with this platform. Thanks for watching this video. We're not only just making these beds for these big 5,500 trucks. We can build a bed similar to this, narrow it up, to any kind of truck, even as down as small as a Toyota Tacoma, if that's what somebody's wish was, is to have one of our beds on their personal pickup truck. We wanna know your thoughts on this. So let us know in the comments below what you think of this bed and stay tuned to our YouTube channel because there's a lot more versions of this bed coming out for a lot of different trucks. Thanks again.